and welcome, welcome to Creep World, Creep World, everybody. everybody. Uh, we are doing a, another short little Creep World map. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but we have a cursor to use. Oh, my cursor is not very strong right now. Uh, where are we gonna try and go? Cut the high ground. That's what Obi-Wan Obi would do. There's a bit over there, but that looks like way too far off. Can you build a gun? If we can protect this cannon, then it's almost like we're helping. Build. Oh! Okay. That was my fault for checking. Okay, can we go up the cliff? How hard is that going to be? Uh, pretty hard. We're up here. Okay, we've got a little safety hole. Okay, we're kind of strong enough to make a little barrel... barrel forwards. If I can take over the yellow then that's just good real estate. Because that could be working for me. Uh oh. Oh god, we're a little bit slow there. Come on. Slow and steady wins the race. But... Not that slow. Okay, great. And the moment we get a few more guns out of it... Pretty good. They are trying to shoot at us. Don't love that. It's a smart place for a spore to be. Oh, too slow though, bud. Too slow. I have that problem as well. Being too slow. And get them armed and start defending. Okay, yeah, now we can make some progress. If we can hold this, that will be just mass producing for us. So one of the problems that we're going to have is... So the enemy's capped on how much creep it can make. And we're pr kind of pretty stable. But as we push back certain areas and begin to take them. It means that the others will be producing more creep effectively. Because at the moment they're all just like pooping out like a tiny little amount. But whichever is the last one we attack, that will be just pumping out at full effect. Get that nullifier. Get your gun. Can you build some guns a little bit further forwards? That bit we can't super hold. They've taken this little nub back. Okay, can you build some weapons? I want to just cut that little side bit. Right, a few more guns, and then we're good. Okay, what's going on back there? If you can build some mines, would be great, because we are pretty hurting on ammo. We're making good amounts of AC now. If we can just build a front line, I can kind of hold that wall a little bit. Right. Where do we want to be attacking? We've got a lot of eggs, but we can take them. Okay, there's some nice guns. Very good. Uh, nullifier online. Right, get the guns built. Get some ammo in there. Do we even have lift tech? No. Oh god. Wow, we saved that nullifier just in time. Okay, right, let's keep moving on up this side. Okay, those eggs are a little bit of an issue, but... You know, to bake a cake, you gotta break an egg. That's the saying, and it definitely applies to Creeper World and this situation. If you don't believe me, I don't think you've played enough Creeper World. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Alright. Can we get into these areas as well? Oh yeah, we're making good AC now. Real good. Okay, nice. Where are we going next? I don't actually have a lot of emitters left. Are we going to build a beacon? A beacon. I love the beacon. Uh, come on in. Beacon me up, baby. Beacon. We don't have the green stuff. Okay, well, let's just go in and get that. Uh, they've got all the eggs in the world up there. Feeling pretty good. We've got one beacon down. One beacon is not enough to win the war on the Tower of Darkness. And I think we're I think we're in. Yay! Enemies nullified. Okay, we just have to bust down one hundred thousand eggs. Pop, pop, pop. 
Once you pop, you just can't stop. Um, but sometimes you really should because a lot of creep comes out of those. But, God, like, look how much AC we make now. We've got hundreds of thousands of AC. Uh, pretty good. And nice. Actually getting a shield there. Pretty good. But just don't pop and break my nullify, you jerks. Nice. We did it. Uh, man, I always like the sort of just paint, paint the map with your cursor uh, kind of levels. Just tons of fun. A bam and welcome to Creep World, everybody. Today we're playing as the Creep, but not in a normal fashion. We have got ourselves some corrupted cannons. Uh, look at these. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, so they absorb a little bit of creep to uh, get themselves built. So now we've got a cannon. We can fly that up. And it is going to start shooting out creep at our foes. Look at them go. Uh, let's just bring all of our sweet, sweet boys over here. Uh, on the map, there were some pylons that if I destroy them, I get cool bonuses. I think you give me a mortar, which sounds just absolutely fantastic. Uh, would love that. Uh, build me some more of these things. Right, bring guns up. I want to try and get into Mortar Town, which feels like a lovely place to be if you're a bad creep cannon. So we're just pooping out regular creep, which is pretty good. Is it just you that puts it out? Core of the sleeper. Well, look, like, as they just, like, poop out a little bit of creep, it's just enough to kind of, like, slowly chip their health down. Very good. Look at those evil cannons. Look at them go. Right. We've got to stay within the creep, though. If I advance too quickly, then my cannons begin to degrade. Which is not so happy. Sweet. Okay, we destroyed the thing. We can now make mortars. Okay, I want to see how good creep mortars are. I should probably build them at my base. But we're kind of looking okay. That is a load of stuff for me to actually have to get through. Oh no, I'm gonna lose a gun. Come back, my sweet boys. Okay, right. I think... Oh, nuts. Wait, can I not move you? Oh no, I can. There we go. Right, what kind of range is on this bad boy? Oh, look at the, look at the boar on this thing. Uh, sploosh. Pretty cool. Okay, man, mortars are definitely where it's at. Can we have cannons? I just want to kill some of those guns off because they're really draining my creep supply. Okay, great, the cannons actually slowly grinding down their guns. Very good. Right, mortars. Do you need to get a little closer? Uh, can 100% do that. Oh yeah, look at them rain down creep. Real good. Wow, these things are super powerful. Okay. Up here was like a missile launcher, which I don't entirely know how that's going to work. But I am definitely hot to find out. Right. If they can kind of like plink the hill a little bit. If some comes this way, that's totally fine. I don't think they're going to be pushing back into me. Uh, their AC is definitely on the grow, though, which I don't need in my life. Oh yeah, look at them bombard this. They do not have enough weapons to push me back. Once that front line of guns is gone, we can probably then actually push just with regular creep. So if we can get ourselves an entryway through their front line, it'll really help speed things up in the days to come. Uh, looking good. Focus fire works really well. Great. Can you fly up here? Okay, let's just see how that actually looks. Okay, well, we are plodding forwards. Uh, let's move those guys up. Yeah, like, we can just ignore the rest. Like, the amount of creep that's just coming out of the base is working super well. Oh, they've got planes. But, does that mean a missile launcher will be able to shoot down their planes? Let's just see what that does. Bos missiles are flying units. Uh, moving units and bombers in a wide radius. Okay. Pow! Oh! That's cool! Actually deals damage to the planes. Holy moly, that's a really cool ability. 
Okay, let's just try and shoot all of the planes down. Does it actually blow up the base? Oh, it does. <gasps> okay, right, we don't. We probably don't need this many. <laughs> oh, and even if they're not tracking something, they fall to the ground and still do stuff. That is really good. Man, this is such a cool, cool mod. Uh, he's trying to get back to base. Too late. Too late there, bud. I even hit their, hit their base a little bit. Okay, we've got shields now that are pushing back anti-creep and pushing forwards my creep. I'm not controlling them, but they are doing a wonderful job. Okay, a few planes have returned. I don't think I've got a lot to worry about. As they will be destroyed momentarily. Okay, what do we want to attack? We should probably try and take down the mines, but we're not doing a terrible job of just punching through the middle. Which might be where I go with this. Uh, I don't super need missiles. Right, how aggressive can we be? Cannons? Are you just all going to die if I send you in? I'm going to hope for the best. They're coming onto dry land, which is not where they want to be. But... Maybe they'll be alright. Uh, they're not having the best day. They are exploding. But they cleared the area out, so... I'm kind of into it. Oh, look, there's now mesh. Uh, right, we should probably just move our base back to where it was. Oh, and Bertha's. Fires massive shells. Destroy units where they land. It's blocked by shields. Okay. Right, we can't build them, but it's just another thing to help blast the enemy. Firing in 12, 10, 9. And who are you shooting at? Kachow! Bonk. Wow, it's a good amount of creep. Okay, right. Mortars move up. Guns. You can just move up aggressively as well. Oh. They're actually flying stuff around. They flew some cannons. Let's get the missiles up just to make sure no one can escape. Uh, regular guns. Will they actually make it through a shield? I'm not entirely sure what we do against the shields. I guess we can just cut off their supplies. Oh, wow. All of those guys have been cut off. Wow, okay, right. We can actually shoot into a shield. That's pretty strong. Um, what's it doing? Great. The Berthas, my evil Berthas, have just stopped any of these guys ever being connected again. And we're going to drop mortars in as well. They ran out of ammo. They fell apart. Oh, I guess we can just snipe their base with guns. Uh-oh. Stash. Right, the shields don't really know how to handle my guns or my mortars, but... Feel pretty good. Pretty good about it. They have no factory left. Right, just drop their guns in. Uh, the totems will fall. Just when they run out of ammo, uh, I think is how they work. Nice. We got it. Good job. Uh, what a cool, what a cool different game mode. Uh, very cool. The play as sleep. I'm into it. A bam and welcome to Creeper World, everybody. Uh, today we're playing Dust Bowl. Uh, do you remember Team Fortress? Well, this map is meant to be Team Fortress. It's the sandy one. I was never really like a big, big Team Fortress player. T TBH. Uh, but don't let that stop your enjoyment. Uh, right, what are we doing? We're boosting. It's like a pretty good boy already. Oh no, we're getting nuked. Sure, just buff it up. Uh, right, we're gonna need to get ourselves. All right, start creeping on out. So I'm pretty sure this stuff Dissolves my creep. So, actually, we can't go too hard on creep production there. Like, that kind of caps out as, unless we are using a lot of mesh, which is probably worth just meshing our way around the map as well. Because the more it just gets carried forwards, uh, the better, rather than just rising up. Rise up! Uh, as the creep says... Parts. There we go. So where do we want to be? We're going to get onto some of these bits that are going to start making us stuff. We could try and like super buff the stash. Alright, we can we can hasten the pacing on this one. 
Uh, okay. Mesh is working fairly nicely. Okay, we're going to need to give them a little bit of interference. Pop all legs. There we go. Just a little bit of stuff. Just so a bit of mayhem. Okay, you're producing for me. We can jump over there and keep on moving up. There's no, like, obvious places for us to be doing anything super silly. Wait, are we allowed to... Are we allowed to do this? No. Oh, no, we're not. It's the updated version where you can't just scam your way to victory. Okay, just destroy a little bit of extra stuff. Very nice. Okay, cool. We're going to keep on... Meshing. Okay, real good. Right, so it feels like we've got a pretty... kind of logical path that we just have to go around a big spiral. Whoop. Is there a world where we can get over there? We could do with rocks, potentially. Is that allowed? Do rocks kill shields? Yes, they do! Okay, what is in there? Blobs. We're not going to be able to hold blobs. If we egged our way all the way over to there, so that seems like madness. Air sacs. I'd like air sacs. My sweet, beautiful boys. Uh, okay, right, they are making AC somehow. Oh, we've got a stash. Do we want to make super stash? I feel like super stash ain't going to be doing all of the work for me. Because most of it is just going to flood onto the top and then dissolve. Like, yeah, like a lot goes up here and then just... Well... Eh. Eh. He's okay. <laughs> All right, what are we actually moving up to? An emitter? That looks like a bad emitter. I want this emitter. Maybe we can go into spore launchers. Are they going to do a lot of anti-creep anywhere? The answer is no! Okay, good. That is one less thing for old Tom to worry about. All right, keep moving on up. Okay, right, we've got a, a Superboy, which is just something I don't want. Uh, great, we don't have a Superboy anymore. <laughs> Problem solved. Uh, we've got an objective. That's ours now. Do we just aggressively push up? I'm going to say yes. just want loads of mesh. Pile drive our way into that. Okay, we don't have deep enough creep. Okay, our boy is free. Nice. Okay, this is going to be a good checkpoint for us to attack out from. Because now we can attack them from both angles. Is there a world where we cut you off? Where are you getting all of your supplies from? Oh, a little sneaky boy. Whoa, they are using Artie on me. Crazy, crazy dogs. That is not allowed. And they're making anti-creep, which I do not super care for. Okay, hopefully you poop out some eggs. Nope. <laughs> Suddenly just cutting them off from... The rest of their friends. There we go. Great. We've got a whole good portion of the map now. Uh, this will all be ours. Okay. All right. Mesh your way through. Let's try and connect up the meshes. There we go. Good times. All of the rest of the stuff will slowly fall. We'll never really be able to get that stuff, but we can always egg it later. Just can we go over the mountain? Oh, we definitely can do this. Just give me some of those good rocks. Nice. Excellent. Uh, flood that out a little bit. And boost up. Creeper output. Okay. Next stop, SX. I don't imagine there's a world where they manage to take that back. Right, how's everyone else looking? Slowly consuming the map. 
man, the just skipping ahead strat is working very healthily. Uh, we kind of don't need to worry too much about how you guys are getting on. We could always help you a little bit. Just try and take out Super Gun, the John Rambo. Nice. Nice. Okay, airport's down. They're going to make it a little bit less money. Not a massive, massive buff, but... Soon we're going to have air sex in the sky taking over. Uh, oh god, right, you can really see where they made it rain. Okay, air sex are running free. Love to see it. Get a few more. Where does their red on come from? Okay, right, they've literally got it in their base, so we can't really cut off their air support. Uh oh. How are you making so much? Uh, oh, okay, SX did get turned off. They're back on. Where's all that AC coming from? Is it just you? There's like the tiniest little bit of a uh, yellow ground. Here, rock them. Rock them to death. Oh, hello there. Is that factory? If we can get that turned off. Very good. Okay, that should give my air sacs a little bit of leeway on how much they can fly around. As people are going to be out of ammo soon. The airship, definitely bad. Bad news bears. Wait, have they rebuilt it? No, but they are going to rebuild it. Oh no, and you are making AC. Is there a world where we get this stuff all cut off? Yeah, okay, right, we've that so an absolute mayhem behind their lines. Got a few more air sacs coming out. Ooh, okay. Their economy, not super happy. Airship not connected to the network. Okay, right. We we just let the air sacs handle our business now. Okay. Ammo should be offline. And now we can just leave the air sacs to throw around. They've got a lot of snipers, which are taking out some of my lovely beads. But I think we're going to be okay. Okay, my sweet boys. Slowly just pull stuff apart. They're making AC. Don't love that. But we are taking out mines. They do not have enough guns scattered around to be able to stop the sky barrage. Yeah, have some extra eggs. Just make that economy a little bit more fragile. Okay, well, the siege of the main base has gone exceedingly well. Uh, have some bonus eggs. And it's air sack o'clock. <laughs> it's got the did very well. And we got the last of the guns are all fleeing. Going up to the high ground is pretty smart, but we have got stuff everywhere. Nice, we got them. Uh, is there a world where we destroy the airship? We've got to do a lot of. I'm gonna get a lot of eggs on it, but he's hurting. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. Nice. Well, they have 13 units remaining. Where do those units live? Oh, is it in that top corner? Yeah, it is. I see you. The SX will hunt you down. But we can always give them a little helpy Henderson. Uh, there's a gun who's trying to fly away. You gotta land at some point, bud. And a mortar. There's a whole load of <laughs> just flying boys. Where are you going? This place was safe, but we found it, and we've already covered it in creep. And the air sacs are waiting. Oh wait, we can just do it with rocks. Oh wait, we can shoot them down in the sky? Oh my god, love that. Two units remaining? The spores will find them. They're my sniffer dogs, one unit remaining. Oh. No, they got them. <laughs> oh, pow! We did it! Very cool. What a fun, what a fun little map. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Creeper World. Until next time, see ya.